Hi hey guys, I have one interesting game uh, for you today. Uh, this was played on Oblivion Express. It's uh, Brutal Plus on Solo Queue. I am a Lord of the Horde and my ally is uh, Zeratul, apparently. So, here we go. So prestige wise I am Lord of the Horde, he is Herald of the Void. So not the strongest of Zeratul prestiges, but it's uh, viable Zeratul so prestiges are pretty good, although this one is uh, the weakest. Now uh, we had we got mutators hard and will, enemy heroic units will reduce uh, uh, all incoming damage to a maximum of 10. When any non-heroic enemy units is near them, that means that you need to clear escort to deal proper damage to train and the hybrid that spawn from the train and lava burst that periodically bursts out and damages units. So uh, I was like, okay, perfect, because well, my uh, dudes do uh, little damage, so they don't do over 10 damage, so I don't care about... Uh, Hard and will, so I was like, okay, perfect, and lava burst, like, my units are very disposable, so some of them get killed, also pretty good. Okay, Ella does the, Ella gets the ambusher, which is pretty good. Enemy is Baneling Scourge. Okay, I do this, I can actually forget about lava burst. Now, lava will never spawn uh, under structures directly under in the middle of the structure but it can spawn on the edge like over here and still damage the structure and kill it very fast so uh okay for now i have to be careful here well, i killed this and now he's killing that's actually really good not killing his gases because he doesn't need them before this completes instead he kills my base And okay, so now kills his gases, now he kills mine, although I probably won't be needing gas over here. Okay. Will Zeratul survive this? Yeah, I'm getting here, Apocalypse. And now. Apocalypse can do proper damage when all enemies are killed. I left these guys to finish the train plus Zeratul and going there. Okay, well, let me get the production online. So now Apocalypse is still going over here. Eli collects his second fragment, which is pretty good. And now he has. I retreat this usually i leave it here if enemy is not terran but uh, now i retreat it because of the lava i don't wanna uh, lose it and i decide okay let's make just bunkers at home <coughs> okay this stalker actually killed this and now ella, and ella went over here and starts working on this i'm saturating this he has this a uh, ping but he doesn't react he just keeps these things at home and he goes over here clear this uh, base while well, I'm left uh, he shows no intention of helping me with this train he just happily over there clearing with Zeratul and I'm dealing with this uh, train okay let's slow it down a bit okay I have factory over here and uh, Barracks, but both, both uh, barrack upgrades is, are done. So I'm um, okay. This was a mistake. I actually, uh, if you wanna do siege tanks, then you do this. You get uh, f uh, barracks out because I realized I need some more firepower by uh, these broodlings to uh, kill this uh, train, and train goes down. But. Uh, yeah, I actually didn't produce anything. I realized not to take any, not to take the third gas and not to produce any units because it's Baneling Scourge, so it's like mixed composition. 
they don't have strong splash damage, just annoying units. So I don't need siege tanks or liberators, just uh, infested dudes. <coughs> so I should have actually upgraded factory because it has uh, more health and also not uh, it's not requirement for anything. Uh, this is uh, re uh, this barracks are requirement for bunkers. So if I lose it, uh, I won't be able to make. Uh, bunkers uh, until I make another uh, uh, barracks. In the meantime, well, I brought his things and he's just happily working here, not caring about main objective, not caring about anything. So, I was like, is this a bad ally? What the fuck is he doing? But, uh, okay, I was like, okay, let's do my job, and my job is, of course, to care about main objective. So, I have this. Okay, I actually should have used Apocalypse by now here, but okay, like okay, I will kill this train. It's not going away. I have uh, now what six bunkers. I have compound upgrades. Okay, only level two now researching, but I was like okay, let's actually use this Apocalypse now. Well, I in the meantime cleared all uh, oh everything over here, and now he's going for the bonus. Well, I am here uh, clearing, killing this train, and now that I have a lot of dudes over here, this train is actually going to go down pretty fast. Okay. I have some lava over here. I am almost fully saturated. I forgot actually one worker, but okay. And here, I was like, okay, I don't care about these guys. But Passing by infested plus these stalkers will kill and he is obviously not f 2 because he left these two at home now now he probably is and he's killing these things over here Well, I'm dealing with with everything <coughs> main objective except the bomb main objective the attack waves So to, do you guys think it's a bad ally, huh? Okay so to answer this question, uh, we have to look where we, where are we at this point? I have decent number of bunkers now. Uh, okay, this uh, the the factory, and where are we? So he is all the ma all this uh, right side of map is clear, including the bonus area over here, and now he is at his his train at the south. Well, I'm dealing at uh, Northern train. So actually this is the thing that is actually a perfect synergy. Why? Because he realized he made an assumption that I can deal with everything and he made correct assumption. I am a level a level thousand so that means I am experienced and I'm Lord of the Horde. I don't know if he knows but he probably does that Lord of the Horde is perfect against Harden Will. So if I was not able to deal with the first three of the trains, that's totally my bad. I mean, he did help with the first one. But uh, the second and turn, if I, as Lord of the Horde, was not able to deal with the train, that means that I'm, a, I'm bad. Because Lord of the Horde absolutely should be able to kill this alone, even with these blending clouds and annoying stuff. If enemy was Terran by or something, it would be harder. But against Lord of the Ho well, against uh, Bailing Scourge, it's actually one of the better composition to fight like this. And now we have a situation when where I am dealing with my train. L, I already killed his, and it's just this kill. Okay, this heal too, but who cares? So this is actually kind of the thing that L I did was weird, but very effective. Because uh, even if train would come here, now it cannot get hardened will from any base guards over here. Because it, everything is clear, but as Lord of the Horde, I don't actually care because my dudes, look at this, they, they deal 6 base damage, so at plus 3 they deal no more than 9. And my infested civilians actually deal, I think, base damage, uh, base uh, damage... Uh, where is the where is my infested civilians? Okay, I have none currently over here. They are thing. Um, okay, there they are. 
they deal base damage 8, so the eleven is maximum, so a little bit more than hard and will allows. So it's 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 nothing. So now we have the map clear before the sixth train, not just this part but whole map. Okay. Unfortunately I didn't face this, but I did get the apocalypse. So he lost one monolith, but <coughs> now I'm the one clearing the rest of the the map over here with the help of these two. Helping with Apocalypse over here and Okay, this overseer unfortunately deals <laughs> makes this uh, these four uh, wagons having hard and will, but that's no biggie. And now we have very comfortable situation over here. So this is okay. I was talking about uh, the thing uh, of losing uh, barracks, and this is, I think, exactly what had happened. I think they lost it to lava, and now, unfortunately, I cannot. Uh, make bunkers which is really annoying you see i am only on 110 supply i have almost 3000 minerals so i was like why can't i clicking i just like clicking on a hotkey on the bunker and why can't i make bunkers and then i was like oh it's grayed out i lost my uh, barracks so i have to rebuild my barracks over here but i do have uh, a lot of bunkers uh, usually i make bunkers over here i make them on this hill i spread them out but now i'm making all of them at home because i don't want to lose them to lava they are expensive 400 minerals so i don't want to lose them okay i think l i now realize that there are some of these guys over here so he will probably plant, oh yes, this to, to see these guys, and yeah, that's it. Now we are, we have him double train, and now this is pretty much easy game. Now I'm on 3-3, three, three. I'm uh, gonna max on bunkers pretty soon, I actually got fifth worker, usually I use four to build bunkers now. I, I uh, added fifth to build more because I had a lot of money and because uh, I was supply blocked. Not supply blocked, but uh, sorry, but uh, tech blocked by losing this factory. Oh, uh, factory barracks. And now it's everything fine. I kill my train, he kills his, and. And it's very beneficial of clearing the map when you have double-edged, at least for him, because he cares about double-edged, I don't. Because I'm Lord of the Horde. Because they don't, they won't be sending any new units, like from the, the base guards usually, they send units over here. <coughs> and this is pretty good. Did I say double-edged? Sorry, hard and will. I don't know why I said double-edged. I think I did say double-edged. But uh, if you were double-edged also, like, Lord of the Horde is pretty good because you have a lot of disposable units that will do a lot of damage before they die and they, they won't die fast. Because uh, healing is 8 uh, HP per second and they don't do a lot of damage. Okay, Zeratul dies. Now he... This time I was able to infest these... This thing. Over here I have a lot of charges because I was like, I wanna use an, lose another structure. I'm actually lazy, I could have get a, gotten factory out, but uh, I didn't, I don't need it, so that's GG. And, uh, yeah, pretty good game. So, uh, for, uh, when he started clearing that that base da there, I was like, maybe this is uh, this uh, is just like a troll, but he, he, will, he knew what uh, he was doing and he knew that he can allow me, he can leave me to deal with main objective because uh, he has something like I'm Lord of the Horde and I'm level, level 1000 so I should be good enough and I was good enough, I am not losing the train to uh, when I'm Lord of the Horde, especially not against Baneling Scourge, if it was like some strong ground composition it would be harder, especially like Terran Bio, but Terran Bio is well, not that strong, but against Lord of the Horde is because you have Marines, 
that get that are getting healed and siege tanks so they just decimate my uh my units but uh, but apocalypse could have dealt with them so uh it's uh, no biggie also and by the time we had double train he was he already cleared everything he did the bonus and he was just at the position where he needed to be so this is a pretty good way of playing like effective way if you can leave if you can leave your ally to deal with main objective so uh, you know clearing the map can be beneficial okay that's uh, it guys let's just see okay let me quit this replay and let's see the score screen to see that uh, okay that's it so didn't have a lot of APM but it was effective he knew how to he knows how to play this prestige he did, he wasn't late with the second fragment <coughs> he did actually use artifact fragment spa spawn rate but okay I mean to have uh, to be able to use his uh, be able to clear faster it's okay Legend of oh, ooh, Master is actually, oh yeah, hey, oh, you don't need Avatar Mastery over here, but uh, then he never actually even used Legion, so it was kind of like, uh, he, did he? Yeah, he? He did use Zoraya once, actually, oh no, actually he did use uh, Zoraya twice, but I didn't do much. <laughs> Uh, going to use Telberus uh, against this, yeah. Man, Tesseract, the Monoliths. Okay, Ambushers. He actually lost 30 Ambushers. Okay, that explains why he didn't use a Legion. He was actively using them and losing them. Yeah, when you don't have third fragment, it's kind of hard. Harder to keep them alive, but he was at top of production, so he was actually, he stayed maxed. And, uh, interesting way of playing but that was effective I was at 36 bunkers and see kills wise he has more he was clearing the base I have a little bit more train damage but just a little bit okay you cannot see it here but yeah so pretty good <coughs> pretty good unusual game but uh, pretty good that's why I'm showing this to you okay Thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you liked it, support me on Patreon if you wish or need help, and see you guys.